I want to be a physical therapist. Why do I need to take chemistry and physics? Make it make sense. Well, I'll do my best to try and make it make sense. And stay to the end because there is where I have the answer most of you are looking for. First things first, these science type classes are weed out classes. You're going to physical therapy school to learn about science type subjects. So the admissions committee needs to see how you'll perform in science type classes. Two, critical thinking is very important as a physical therapist. And these science type classes help you work on your critical thinking skills. Now here's the answers most of you are looking for. How do physical therapists use chemistry or physics in their everyday job? Three things that come to mind right now are electrical stimulation, antiphoresis, and exercise modification. In physics and chemistry, you learn about ions, voltage, currents, amps, and all that stuff. Well, if you're using electrical stimulation and iontophoresis, which is a type of electrical stimulation, you have to understand those concepts at a base level in order to prescribe the right intervention parameters to make the patient get better. Now with physics, it makes a little more sense. The human body is moving, it's jumping, it's pushing, it's pulling, it's climbing, it's walking. And all of those require the person to physically interact with the world. So if pain or an injury happens, that changes the biomechanical forces of how a person physically interacts with the world. So better understanding physics principles, specifically biomechanical physics principles, will help you better treat the patient. So hopefully those answers helped you understand why those classes are required. And if it did, go check out our page for more tips to get into physical therapy school.